Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, we'll quickly be covering where you can monitor your account balances, working orders, positions, and pretty much everything account related on the Optimus Flow trading platform. Now, this is going to be a fairly quick video, and if you are working with the default workspace, everything should be pretty much right in front of you. Now, in terms of looking at your account balances in various account related statistics, such as your margin, reserve margin, um, cash on hand, things of that nature, everything, at least in the default workspace is going to be down in the bottom left hand corner. You can see I'm working within the account info tab here. Now, of course, this is its own separate uh, window or widget on this platform. But it, when you're working within the default workspace, it's going to be located down at the bottom. So if you haven't seen our video on how to create and manage workspaces, of course, this platform is completely customizable. So feel free to go ahead, change things up as you like, pretty much just drag and drop as needed. Or you can work with this, whatever your personal preference is. So again, this is the account info section. Like I mentioned here, you can check your account balances. Um, you have things such as buying power, cash on hand, margin balance, reserve margin, the status of your account, um, you know, minimum account balances, if you have a loss limit or things like that set up, all that is going to be available down in the bottom left hand corner. Now, keep in mind that I am using a demo or a paper trading account um, while making this video. So, of course, some of those statistics aren't going to be accurately displayed. So just keep that in mind as well. Now, if you aren't working within the default workspace or have customized things a bit, you may need to open this back up so we can go in the top left hand corner. Now, click on the Optimus Flow logo, scroll down just a bit and you're going to want to open or head down to the informational section and then pretty much click on account info there. And as you see, this will pretty much bring up the same box as we've seen there. Now, there are some settings with here within here that you can tweak if you want. Um, things such as, you know, font, um, the style, colors, um, the different columns you can adjust as well too. So just keep that in mind. But that's pretty much going to be everything related to your account balance. There's also some things down here for symbol info. Now, this isn't going to pertain too much to the account balance. But since it is located in this section, I figured I'd mention this as well. This is actually very convenient. It'll show you the tick size of different um, contracts, um, expiration date of each contract and things of that nature. Now, back on to the subject of this video. I also mentioned that we'll be showing you how to monitor your positions, your orders and things of that nature as well. Again, if you are working on the default workspace, everything now is going to be located down in the bottom just directly in the bottom center of the platform window. And as you can see, this is our current positions that we have on our account. Again, this is a paper trading demo account. So keep that in mind. But as you can see, it tells you what account it's associated with the symbol, um, whether you're long or short, your quantity, the open price, the current price, um, P and L. And then, you know, like I mentioned, um, things might not accurately report such as your net PL stop loss, take profit fee, um, with a demo account, these fields should likely be displaying properly on a real live account. Now, as you can see here, we do have the option with, within our positions to close all close only your negative position, close only your positive, or you can pretty much just select a position here. And you'll notice too, being that all my fields are linked within this workspace, that when I do click on a position, my chart changes as well. But as you can see, when I select one of these positions, I can choose the close selected option. So these buttons are pretty much just ease of access. We've implemented these. So if you only want to close your negative positions, you can close those out. You can close your positive or you can close all. Now back in this section here, as you can see, we are on working orders now. Let's go ahead and just place a quick order in here. I'll activate, you know, our chart trade mode. I'll put in a buy stop really quickly. And now, as you can see, we have our working order down here. So this looks like we're actually on a spread. Um, we just placed an order for our spread here. But as you can see, pretty much the same exact thing now, just for working orders. If you want to, you can cancel all your working orders. 
You can cancel your limit orders. You can cancel your stops. This is currently selected, so we can cancel all selected orders if you know you click on it. Or if you have any limits or stops working and you just want to automatically execute them, you can click change to market and it will automatically become an order or um, a market order and pretty much establish you a position. Some other things you want to might keep notice of the order history tab. This is pretty much just all you know your order history associated with this account. So you can see what type um, of order, the buyer sell side, the quantity, price, trigger price, um, the time in force, and the status. A couple other things here is trades. This is sort of a combination of just kind of all three of the tabs, both working orders, order history, and your positions. Pretty much just gonna give you a rundown of everything you've done on this account. You can adjust your columns here, so as you saw, some of this was cut off in my order type field or in my column. I just expanded that to get a broader view of it. And again, for any of the features within this platform, we can come back to the top, click on the Optimus Flow logo, head down to at least for this video, informational. Here we have our account info. Here we have, um, you know, alerts or events log, which you can monitor your um, alerts and things of that nature as well. Um, you can also see under your portfolio, here is where we're going to have our positions, our working orders, our trades, and our order history. So again, individually, these are comprised of their own windows. And then as you saw before, down in the bottom with the default workspace, they are all one giant window. So you can pretty much just drag and drop them into each other to create your own individual group as you can see we now have one large group pretty much the same thing on the bottom here and then we can just swap back and forth as needed a group is pretty much a combination of different windows on this platform um, so this is a group in combined combined with a bind we can call them so this entire section is a bind so that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Just wanted to show you the different ways on how to pretty much monitor any account related statistics, such as account balances, positions, working orders, things of that nature. One like last thing I would like to mention before I do go, if you do work with multiple accounts, you'll notice um, either within your account info section or even in the data feed selection area, you can go ahead and click on this drop down menu, for example, so in account info. As you can see right now, the only account I have available is Zimberg. That's the only account I'm connected to currently. But you can have multiple accounts and multiple data feeds connected to the platform at once. If you do that, all you need to do is click on the account you want associated with your either account info statistics or trading. So, you know, you can click go into the dome, choose your account that you want to trade with, trade off of that, and then filter your account info based off of the corresponding account. Either way, there's a ton of different options and everything's pretty much customizable. Again, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, head over to our community forum or ask the questions in the comment section down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Optimus Flow content. Thanks for watching.